recently who tried to take me on a date and he's like yo i only take women on coffee dates it's an immediate no lose my number for me because i appreciate it has nothing to do with how much money you plan to spend on me yeah. it has everything to do with you telling me that i typically take women on that i'm not a typical experience baby that's and true. i need you to see that out mm. the gate even if that's what you typically do don't tell me that that's your typical behavior i'm not interested in nothing typical i'm a one percenter in all around like in what i earn and what i do don't tell me about no typical shit did you do your due diligence yeah. there's nothing typical about how i live my life right. i don't put anything typical out there why would you tell me about what you typically do go ahead and typically lose my number yeah, that's not what i'm interested in. now you could have taken me on that coffee date and you could have made that feel real exclusive for me and i would have been happy about that i don't need to know what you do for everybody else yeah. i'm not that all right, so here we go again. Another twisted mindset. Still very selfish, but we're going to go a little further with her. The first young lady, I didn't see that she was had so much of an ego. She had an air about herself. This is true. But this young lady right here, her ego is so big. Y'all, <laughs> you probably couldn't get her into a room with too many other people. You couldn't head is so large so she knows nothing everything she's doing and the way she's speaking now she's operating outside of the will of god this is the way that she's speaking she's a young woman a nice looking young woman and from what i'm understanding it was a man that asked her or told her you know what typically on the first date i just take people out on a coffee date now to me me being the woman that I am with the ability to have God in my life and humbleness, I would say, you know what? That's cool because guess what? He's taking me on a coffee date. I ain't got to worry about him being the killer. You know, I ain't got to worry about him trying to rub my knee because we're out in public. He's actually thinking. But this young lady right here took offense to it because he's used the word typical. He didn't say you typical. He said, this is what I do typically. And I would be like, you know what, to make everybody feel comfortable, this is what you do. But then guess what? She didn't even allow herself the second, third or fourth date to become special. She came in the door special, but she did it in a way that made her less than special. She, she, she became to me a tyrant um, with that fast talking, that condescending talking, that uh, all that that she just did. We're going to listen to it again. All of that, that, that. What do I call it sometimes? I, just jiviness. You know, where's the lady in all of this? You got it all together, but you don't even know how to respond or when to shut up. <clears throat> Twisted thinking. She made what that young man said that he does for himself all about her. All about her. He said, I typically take women on coffee dates. And that became something sinful. <laughs> That became a curse to her because I'm not that. She is so insecure that there is some deep issues there. Now, I'm not saying we're going to just kick her to the curb, throw rocks at her, any of that. I want her and women like her to have some help because the twisted mindset mindsets are delaying their purpose. She really thinks she's getting somebody told, y'all. She really thinks she is reading, you know, she's reading somebody. And it's just sound to me so corn bean, uh, just... Not ladylike, just shut up. That type, you know, if you was with her. But where's her sisterhood at? Where are her girlfriends? Where are her friends that would tell her to be quiet? Where was the other girl's friends at when she had four BBLs? Did nobody tell her nothing? Hey, let's go back to this young lady. Well, I need to hear y'all thoughts. Who tried to take me on a date and he's like, yo, I only take women on coffee dates. It's an immediate no, lose my number for me because I appreciate. It has nothing to do with how much money you plan to spend on me. Yeah. It has everything to do with you telling me that I typically take women on. I'm not a typical experience, baby. That and I need true. you to see that out mm. the gate, even if that's what you typically do. Don't tell me that that's your typical behavior. Yeah. I'm not interested in nothing typical. I'm a one percenter in all around, like in what I earn and what I do. Don't tell me about no typical shit. Did you do your due diligence? Yeah. There's nothing typical about how I live my life. Yeah. I don't put anything typical out there. Why would you tell me about what you typically do? Go ahead and typically lose my number. Yeah, that's not what I'm interested. Now, you could have taken me on that coffee date and you could have made that feel real exclusive for me. And I would have been happy about that. I don't need to know what you do for everybody else yeah. i'm not that 
So here we go once again. There's nothing typical about me. I don't even put that out there. Somebody need to take her a picture and send it to her in her mailbox. They need to take her picture and just send it because she is, again, her mindset is so twisted. Her ego is so large. She can't see beyond herself. She has no idea that this behavior that she's displaying is typical, especially now. I mean, if you ain't heard yet that the black woman is so quarrelsome, which I don't agree with. But guess what? When you have people out here like this right here, she's kind of making the point. Oh, you have black women are not submissive. We, we're not humble. We don't appreciate nothing. Really? She's making the point. We are typical, especially you. But she don't even get it. It's very twisted. Her mindset is that because she has achieved something, because she's a one percenter, a one percent of what? What are you saying, young lady? You by yourself still. But it's twisted. We're not understanding. The mindset is so twisted that we can't we can't even see ourselves. Selfish ego. And I hate to talk about our ladies like this because I'm I'm trying to give you a solution within. But first of all, I need to somebody to see themselves in these women if you need to. I need somebody to I need somebody to agree <laughs> with this woman and, and say to herself, you know what? I think that it might be me. Y'all be honest. If this is you all, if y'all think anywhere, it may not be the same situation. But if you're sitting back thinking I ain't going to the Cheesecake Factory because you're her. You're her and you're very typical. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're her. You're very typical. You might just be on the low with it. But see, one of your purposes in life, if it's not to be a married woman, it should just be to be a good person and be fruitful. And if you don't have a relationship with God, you need to pick up one. He's all around us. You're right. You need to pick up a relationship with God. I should say align with God and be a woman of God or not or that and also a mother and a wife. And if you don't want to be married, you could be a single woman. I, you know what? Okay, be a single woman, but be the best single woman you can be. Don't be typical. So she's thinking this is the end thing right here. This is in. This is how it needs to be just this way. And it's not. It's not. Lady. And see, guess what else? Let me let me make sure I let y'all know this is not about a man. This is about ladies being accountable for who they are and their mindsets that are twisted. I'm talking to women right now. I hope and pray that there is a man somewhere talking to a man about his twisted mindset and the things he gets himself into. I'm speaking to our ladies because we got to be the best version of ourselves that we can be because from what I just, the two videos we've played so far, I need y'all to follow these two videos. Both of these women are looking for husbands. The first one says she was actually looking for a husband and she hopes God puts her in the right positions for them to cross paths. This particular one right, right here, she didn't say the word husband, but she definitely uh, is calling upon a man to pick her. Definitely is calling upon a man. And I hope y'all picked up on that. Now, if I presented this to them, both of them would probably say, I don't need no man. I don't want no man, but they would be lying. They would be lying because they do. They liars, bro. They, they liars. Do. The first young lady definitely said, well, hopefully I'll be in a position where my husband can cross our, you know, our paths would cross. This one right here, she just wants, doesn't, she just doesn't want a typical man. She's a one percenter and nothing about her she's ever presented was typical, but she's not seeing herself right now. And I am. And everything about her is very typical right now. Very typical. She's actually doing men a favor at this moment, which I hope this can change if she can self-reflect and see herself for who she really is right now, because we're trying to change mindsets. We don't want to no longer have twisted mindsets. You know, we want to align ourselves with God's and be the best God and be the best versions of ourselves as women. And we want to be married. We want to be assets to our men. No matter what we got, we want to be assets for our men if that's what we want to do. And both of these women have exhibited that that is what they want to do. Antonia Watkins. Hello, sir. How are you? That's Donnie. Who is Donnie? She's 42. Oh, wow. You know her. Go tell Donnie. A multi-millionaire and is a business coach. She helps scale your business to another level. So that's how her mind works. Yeah. And Donnie, probably you answer it. I don't want to take for granted. Is Donnie married? Because it sounds like to me she was looking for a man to uh, 
come and find her also. So Antonio, can you help us with that? Is she married? And thank you so much for your $5 super chat. Um, and again, I don't care if she is <laughs> all of that. If she is training her women that is looking, oh, you said business coach. Okay. She helps scale your business to a business coach. I've never heard of a business coach. Okay. But um, thank you so much, Antonio, for that information. Now, this is very typical behavior. Very typical. Um, then she goes on to say that she would have went on the coffee date, but such and such and such and such and such. Um, yeah, this is a very twisted mindset. And I'm assuming that this is a person that would, uh, you know, see marriage as being a business. Again, I don't see marriage as a business. I see marriage as a covenant. I want someone that I can become one with, you know, and and, and I don't have to worry about uh, all these money woes and things that people, you know, take in so much consideration after they've gotten married. 